Hello and welcome back to Eurovision 365. It's time for another interview and I'm so glad. I'm really happy to be able to tell you that I'm joined by a couple of the lads from the MGP final. It's the two lads from Woo! Swing It! Woo! Good evening. Good hello, evening. Hello. <laughs> welcome, mm. welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. I'm stoked. I'm really happy to be able to chat to you. Introduce yourselves to the Eurovision 365 and your role in the band. Of course. So my name is Martin Jarl. Um, I am a lead singer, a trumpet player and piano player in uh, Swing It. We all kind of have mixed roles because we play different instruments and uh, we um, go a bit uh, back and forth between who does what. So, um, also, um, I'm um, recently become a dancer uh, as well, as we had to choreograph our own um, dancing moves, uh, choreography for uh, for the stage show. Yeah, and my name is uh, Vebjorn, uh, and I'm uh, mostly I play the piano in the band actually. And uh, every once in a while, I've come up and had a little uh, singing performance. Uh, during our normal sets and, um, and we kind of figured out with this song that uh, it would be the right fit uh, for the style of the song um, with me on the vocals so um, uh, that's a fun uh, switching of roles for me to uh, you know going from the piano sitting back there in the piano seat to being up front it really feels uh, it doesn't feel as natural to be like a, uh, having a, an assertive stage persona uh, in in that way, even though I've done loads of singing, it's just uh, this way of presenting to me is a bit foreign, I have to say. Um, congrats on making it to the final. Uh, how did you feel when Swing It was announced as a finalist? Super duper surprised, I think, is the first uh, thing. We really weren't expecting to get through to the finals. so. We were sort of thinking, this has been so much fun. We've played in front of so many people and had a good experience with it. And now it's time to go home. But yeah, so now we feel like anything can happen. Even though it's uh, the finals are uh, just so packed full of fantastic acts. And um, so many are just the winners, uh, winners songs and performances together. So anything can happen now, I think. Yeah. And it's just such great experience to have to do it, you know? Yeah. Just get on stage and try and uh, 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 deliver a, a believable stage uh, version of that song. The cheer of approval when Swing It were announced as finalists, because like, he, he too, these are the three finalists, and when Swing It was announced, there was a yeah. huge war of approval. What is your impression, both of you? on how the Norwegian folk are responding to you as a group and the song itself. Mostly it's been fantastic feedback. We've gotten so many messages and comments about the song and, and the happy vibe that we create, that people just felt optimistic and positive when they, um, when they listened to the song. But I also think that the song is kind of dividing um, the people a little, little bit. It's a it's a music that uh, a genre that most people maybe haven't heard so much before. But um, I would say nine out of ten has been really positive. Well, yeah, the, generally I think they've been quite positive. Mm -hmm. it, we are aware that the song is quite untraditional in this kind of setting. I feel a bit like. Um, um, underdogs in a in a sense uh, yeah we've actually gotten a lot of feedback saying i um i didn't know i liked jazz but um I like this the, the 2017 winner is also like that's a jazz song you know that's that's portugal i believe 2017. yeah yeah, uh, yeah that's just a pure jazz song a jazz pal ballad and that one so so anything is possible there you go it's anything <laughs> possible in mgp <laughs> In Eurovision, yeah. anything can happen. It's one of the values moment. as well, and um, and uh, the whole thing about Eurovision for me is that you can be different, that you can uh, show up your own personality and, and be allowed to be different. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, we we fit in, uh, even though the, the song itself is different from what normally else is on uh, on Eurovision. I mean, it is it's a, such an energetic and fun song. They, it's just 
full Thank you. life. You're welcome. Thank it's you. Full, it's, no, you're very welcome. It's it's full of fun. It's full of energy. It's full of stars. Yeah. And how important? Yeah. I mean, you're all you're it all. Has all that. It has all that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're going onto this big stage, like eight and a half thousand people, a million plus oh, God. people. Oh, oh God. <laughs> What? Yeah, yeah. Well, once you think about it, it's terrifying, though. It, yeah. Once you start thinking about that, so <laughs> maybe we we try and avoid thinking too much about that because it's yeah as incredibly cool as it is. It's also equally terrifying, I'd say. Uh, obviously, it's just so much fun um, being able to push yourself as a performing uh, in that way, and this is definitely going to be. Um, breaking all my records in terms of um, uh, listeners on uh, performance so that's fun but you know it feels like there's a lot at stake as well if you fuck up then you fuck up in front of the biggest audience you've ever performed in front of so obviously that's that's terrifying and yeah uh, Yeah. much to win much to lose (laughs) i i suppose i I, i'd say about the situation yeah yeah don't ever watch your version 1990 Spain because I'll put you really off. Off so well. um, they, they were back on track, just didn't work, and they were like walked off stage oh. and all. And this was live on oh, TV, yeah. so, but then oh. they started and they came fifth though at the end of it all. They did taste okay. fifth, yeah, they, so okay. it was all good in the end. Um, but in terms of rules, we'll talk a little bit there really about rules, and obviously, you know, um, the back on track, you know, versus the live performance you know like musical performance the rules stipulate and you'll know this that there's only allowed to be six on stage so how inventive are you going to be when it comes to including and being inclusive of your of all your members well to be honest we are um we are 13 people in the band of course there's even more already (laughs) so so we already cut like six of them so uh, i'm sure it'll be fine to cut another one we're actually doing a concert live at the same time as we're doing the final, just with the other guys in the band. So they're in Flom in Norway doing a concert the, the same night. <laughs> so, uh, well, if we happen to win, we'll, it will be unfortunate for uh, the trombone player. Um, Oops, but, been uh, <laughs> but he can uh, see comfort with the other six. So what would it mean for you to perform at the Eurovision Song Contest for Norway? I try to not think too much about it because really? okay. we're not there yet. Um, mm. Take step by step, but obviously it will mean a lot for our musical careers. Yeah. Um, to to be able to expand further into Europe and uh, do more of touring and playing more concerts, uh, which we love. But also just spreading the vibe uh, and the music style um, to more people in Europe would mean a lot because we do think that this kind of music deserves to be heard more and be more frequently played on um, on radio and Spotify playlists and, and not just be a forgotten genre uh, from a hundred years ago. Yeah. Is there anything you want to say to Eurovision fans, not just those in Norway, um, but Eurovision fans who are watching in or going to be watching in on Saturday to your national final? I would just say enjoy it there is so many great acts in the final and so much great music so many great musicians so enjoy it have fun uh, smile uh, grab your friends and watch together with them and just uh, you know yes uh, grab them. your friends and your whole family and bring them there and enjoy the party i suppose it's it's the only thing i want to say we don't want to use um, auto tune because we 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 want to keep the music real and uh, live you know we want to keep we want to keep the sound of stuff being out of tune, uh, carry that into this century, you know. So tune in and uh, keep your ears open because this is going to be one hell of a show. <laughs> Thank you. The last thing to say is just to say the very best of luck, Lee for Finalen, Paul uh, Lauder, and thank you both so much for your time. And say hello to the rest of the band from Eurovision 365 as well. I will. Thank you so much for having us on.